Mattia Valley hosting a very competitive girls swimming sectional championship with trips to the state meet next Saturday on the line. Nequa Valley is coming off a DVC championship victory, but with so many talented teams and swimmers, the sectional plaque is up for grabs. The first race of the Mattia Valley girls swimming sectional meet is the 200 medley relay. The order goes backstroke, breaststroke, butterfly, and ending with the freestyle. Naperville Central swimming with Eden Goach, Claire Schiffer, Elena Viome, and Lauren Collins in lane two. Mattia Valley utilizing Hallie Reifsneider, Marley Schroeder, Amanda Schmidt, and Allison Leslie in lane seven. Naperville North with Lizzie Patterson, Kelsey Wessel, Amy Duhamel, and Chloe Chen. And Nequa Valley turning to Natalie Siernowski, Ruhi Shathan, Emily Wu, and Lizzie Rosenberg in lane three. Starting off with a win at a time of 1 minute 43.36 seconds in lane 4 is Rosary behind Lauren O'Connor, Elizabeth Nowrocki, Becky Rents, and Olivia Moore. Next up is the 200 freestyle. Naperville Central's Sophia Hayes in front in the early going in lane 5, ahead of Chloe Chen from Naperville North in lane 2, and Lainey Devine from Ben Academy in lane 4. Ruby Meyer from Wabonzi Valley in lane 7, and Ali Casanovas from Rosary in lane 3. Down the stretch, Hayes runs out of steam while Devine makes her move, getting to the wall just two tenths of a second over Chloe Chen to get the state qualifying spot and a first place finish. Red Wing coach Sue Welker and her teammates are fired up for the senior. Next is the fastest race of the day, the 50 yard freestyle. We will see seven state qualifiers come from this event. In the final heat, Eden Goach from Naperville Central in lane 5 gets the win over Becky Rance from Rosary. Fellow Red Hawk Lauren Collins actually finishes in third even though she swam in the second to last heat. Anna Karubis from Nequa Valley and Allison Leslie from Matia Valley are also heading to state. Goach is also going to state in the 100 backstroke after finishing second later in the meet. Now to the 100-yard butterfly. Rosary with two strong swimmers in this one with Becky Rents and Lauren O'Connor. DVC champ Amanda Schmidt swimming hard in lane three for Mattia Valley. Naperville North senior Amy Duhamel, who qualifies for state in the 100 back later in the meet, looking strong in lane five as well. Rents takes the win by about two seconds over Duhamel as Schmidt takes third and O'Connor fourth. All of them hit the time to qualify for state. Wabonzi Valley's Bella Plude takes fifth and comes a half second from making state for the Warriors. Naperville North freshman Reese Navarro swimming well as the lone representative in the Athletes with Disabilities division as she qualifies for state in all four events she competes in, including the 50, 100, and 200 yard freestyles and the 100 yard breaststroke. The 100-yard freestyle features another competitive race, to no surprise. Lainey Devine from Bennett in lane 4 looking for her second win. Mia Ceballos from Plainfield in lane 5, Chloe Chen from North in lane 6, Anna Karubas from Nequa in lane 7, and Sophia Hayes from Central in lane 3. This race finishes much faster than the 200 free as five swimmers qualify for state. Lainey Devine does hit the wall ahead of Ceballos giving Bennett two wins on the day, Chen in third, Karubas fourth, and Hayes in fifth all will be heading to state next week. Now it's time for the long distance race, the 500 yard freestyle. Going into the final laps, it's a race between two swimmers, Caroline Pendley from Naperville North and Katie Gresick from the Oswego Co-op. Gresick takes the win at five minutes and one second, but Pendley qualifies for state as well, just two seconds behind and well under the five minute and 10 second state qualifying time. Time for another relay, the 200 free variety. Some great freestyle swimmers in the sectional, so this should be a fun one. In lane four is Nequa Valley with Ruhi Shathan, Lizzie Rosenberg, Emily Wu, and Anna Karubis. Oswego in lane three with Chloe Diner, Caitlin Stoddard, Madeline Liska, and Katie Gresick. Mattia in lane two with Amanda Schmidt, Hallie Reefsnyder, Sarah Vokes, and Allison Leslie. Wobanzi in lane seven with Avery Ball, Cassidy Baugh, Colleen Quaid, and Anna Honchera. And Naperville Central in lane six with Sophia Hayes, Lauren Eschmeyer, Lauren Collins, and Aiden Goach. Oswego is the first place finisher with Nequa in second and Central in third. Rosary and Mattia all make it to state as well. 
Mubanzi finishes in sixth, less than one second shy of the state qualifying time. Only two races left as we have the 100-yard breaststroke. We actually take a quick look at the second-to-last heat where we see Megan Ferrucci from Nikwa Valley and Paige Malinowski from Bennett Academy celebrating as they hit the state qualifying time. An impressive feat for the pair. Now to the final heat, and as you can imagine, plenty of great swimmers in this event. Elizabeth Naraki from Rosary in lane 5. She outpaces the competition ahead of Chloe Diner from Oswego in lane 4. And Ruhi Chathan from Nico Valley in lane 3. Olivia Moore from Rosary is in lane 6. Claire Schiffer from Naperville Central in lane 2. And Imogen Duffy from Bennett, who also qualified for state in the 200 IM in lane 7. She also makes the state time and breaks the school record in the event. Eight swimmers in total moving on to next week. Not much drama for the team championship heading into the final race as Rosary holds a big lead, but everyone wants to finish on a high note and qualify as many as they can to state as we wrap up with the 4x400 relay. Oswego is the favorite in lane 4 with Chloe Diner, Madeline Liska, Juliana Pignato, and Katie Gresick. Naperville North in contention in lane 5 behind Chloe Chen, Lizzie Patterson, Clara Gilvitis, and Amy Duhamel. Both teams would qualify for state, but pulling away to win the 400 free relay is Nico Valley, who gets all three relays through to state. Lizzie Rosenberg, Anna Karubis, Emily Wu, and Ruhi Chathan get the job done here to help the Wildcats to a second place team finish. A great day of competition as the Rosary Beads win the 2022 Matia Valley Girls Swimming and Diving Sectional Championship. I feel so awesome. I was completely shocked when I looked up at the board. I was like, that is not my time. So it feels really great and especially like to see all the hard work I put in through the season pay off. I mean, it's a great honor to get all four events qualified. And I think having my friends do it alongside me was really awesome. It was a great experience. It's a good time. Um, well, I had to drop a lot of time going into it and I knew that. And then I looked at the board and I was like, there's no way, this can't be my time. So it was a lot of shock, but I was really happy. It was definitely our mentality of doing it for the team and we have to do it for each other. So we all are held to like a certain level. Yes, well, it's so yes. great having support here because swim isn't usually like a super big cheering meet, but like to look up in the stands and see so many faces you know cheering for you, it really just gives you like that extra like boost of motivation. That's true. Our team is so supportive and we're always cheering for each other, so it just it helps so much when you get out of the water or even if you had a bad swim and you look up and your team is just happy no matter what. Yeah, it was a really good experience to end the meet with kind of an upset in the 4 free relay. Um, I think we all kind of worked together towards that and put our heads together to finish off strong. Yeah, it was a great meet. I mean, just being in such a like competitive atmosphere and everybody's cheering and there's just so much excitement from all the teams here, um, just like, really rubs off on you and I think that really helps, helps draw time and helps you get excited for other people. Um, I'm really excited to go to stay, especially with such a great team beside me. And I know we've put in all the all the long practices, the hard sets, and now it's just time to reap the rewards, and I can't wait to see how we end up.